In cities across the country, people march to celebrate Juneteenth, but this year's observance has taken on a heightened urgency as more Americans demand racial justice. Adriana Diaz reports. No justice! No peace! Thousands lifted up their voices in Chicago Friday, many in the memory of George Floyd. Because it was so heart-wrenching and it seemed to resonate with so many people that there is a new desire to do something. Especially on an anniversary like this. Yes. From Oakland to the nation's capital, where a silent crowd kneeled around the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial. It wasn't just a celebration. It was a rallying cry for change. Juneteenth is about a celebration in part, but also understand that the best, the very best is yet to come. In Galveston, Texas, the city where Juneteenth started, a somber ceremony replaced the major festival, which was canceled due to COVID-19. There was also a surprise announcement from the National Archives in Washington Friday. Researchers discovered the actual handwritten Union General's order emancipating the Texas slaves, writing to the people of Texas, all slaves are free. This year, more corporations are honoring the day. Lift every voice and sing. With dozens of companies, including Nike, Lyft, and Twitter, making Juneteenth an official holiday. Back here in Chicago, marchers say they're fighting for their future. Why is it important to you guys think to come out? If we just stayed home and like wish that there was a change, nothing would change. Momentum to recognize Juneteenth is growing. This week, New York and Virginia made it a paid holiday for state workers. And yesterday, bills were introduced in both the House and Senate to try to make it a national holiday. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Adriana Diaz, Chicago.